Brexit warning as farming measures could spark Wales' breakaway bid. Brexit triggered frustration among Welsh farmers as Westminster was accused of betrayal after slashing farming budgets, which could stoke the already growing bid for independence in Wales. Welsh voters chose to leave the EU by a majority of 52% to 48% in the referendum, despite being one of the largest beneficiaries of the bloc's funding. However, just weeks after the transition period drew to a close, calls for Welsh independence are growing. While this is still a minority view, a former devolution advisor to David Cameron, Lord Dunlop, has recently warned that there is no room for complacency when it comes to pushing pro-unionist sentiment in Wales. Yet, Welsh farmers accused the government of a Brexit betrayal after the sector's budget was slashed by £95 million this year, despite the Conservatives promising in 2019 it would maintain agricultural development funding. The Welsh government also fought back against a controversial post-Brexit law, the Internal Market Bill, after claiming it would neuter devolution before it was dropped last year. Last month, Whitehall announced plans to bypass devolved governments and establish a centrally controlled fund, in place of European structural funds, again, seeming to override the Welsh government. Even so, the government promised to pay £243 million to Welsh farmers after Brexit last January, once they left the EU's Common Agricultural Policy cap, which made up the majority of some farmers' income. However, there is concern over how the farmers will cope without direct payments. Then, most recently, the Welsh government announced a radical new plan to help farmers tackle climate change by paying them. But, as Plaid Cymru, the pro-independence party, said, without any stability payment or subsidy, farms are being asked to jump off a cliff without a safety net. The Welsh Conservatives also said the plan, announced in December, had a lack of substantive detail, and the government had left it to that last minute. With this complicated backdrop, an essay from the Dean of St David's and former British diplomat, Sarah Rowland-Jones, shines a light on how financial support for farming could be key to Westminster maintaining a good relationship with Wales.